so we're making some progress here. We ran those refrigeration lines outside. Up and around. And into the unit. And then we ran, we're running the drain now. From the unit. Through the rafters. I'm gonna come down there. I'm gonna go downstairs with it. Just like this one. This is from the upstairs unit. And then we're gonna meet up with the other with the drain downstairs. We're gonna connect these two together because the GC and slash homeowner doesn't wanna he doesn't wanna drill to these. All the older studs. You want to make a hole through there and connect them together there. So we're gonna meet downstairs. That's the fifth unit. There's four of these. Tight in. So there's one upstairs. Shit, I forgot to put plastic around there. I only put plastic around the cover. That's the drain, and then the refrigeration lines are on that side of that. that side. That's the drain side. The refrigeration lines are behind there, behind the wall. I need to get my phone fixed, man. And then the, the drain goes down there. So this guy. So yeah, there's five of those. There's one in there, one in there, one here. That's three, four, five. So yeah, five units total. The gray floor doesn't have any cooling, only heating. So yeah, the electrical inspector already passed them, and uh, now he just the homeowner is just waiting. The contractor, GC home, slash homeowner, is waiting for for that structure. And then later we're gonna connect a supply duct here, right here, box right here. And then a, the return is gonna be right here. And we're gonna put the return down low. We're gonna run a we're gonna run 14 by 8 box down here. And then the return is gonna be down here. He wanted it to make it easy to put the return uh, right next to the unit up top. But the supplies are gonna be Right next to it so it's not gonna be too comfortable because you're gonna have the, the return pulling the supply right off right off the plenums or right off the supply registers so then the rest of the room is not gonna get uh, the correct airflow so when I read manual T on uh, duct on uh, airflow and registers and 
philosophy and CFM, all that good stuff. You always want when you do when you do heating and cooling. It's great to have the return on the opposite side of the um, supply. So if, just, so if your supply registers are up top, and you want your return at the bottom, so or sidewall down low. So you won't have stagnant air, maybe five or six feet in between the ceiling where the supply registers are and the return down, or you won't have stagnant air between your return and your supply when they're both up top. You can't always do it, but in this case, I told them it's a good idea to put it down low, the return, because the supplies are so close. A lot of times, you have no choice but to put them all up, up top or all up, down at the bottom. But in this case, we, we were able to do uh, high, high supply registers and a low return. Anyway, just want to show you some walk through. These guys are looking outside. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later.